uh, the Bible points out different aspects where we need to submit. Number one, submit to the Lord. Submit to God. James 4 verse 7 says here, Submit yourselves, then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Um, yeah. So we can see here that if we are going to submit our life to the Lord, He will arrange our life under His command, rather than to live according to our own way. The word, of, the word submit here meaning to say we have to obey what the word of God says. We have to obey what He is saying to us. So we see here that submission is willingly coming under the authority of the Lord. I mean, that's why every true Christian, every true Christian is a submissive person. Amen. Uh, you know, when God uh, saved us, God uh, made us His own, you know, being submissive ay nandun na sa ating puso. It's in our hearts already. So we submit to the Lord who is the author of our lives. You know? Our true authority in our lives. So how are we going to submit? It says here, we are going to resist the devil. And he will flee from us. So we need to be submissive and resistant to the devil. So as we start submitting to God, you know it's not degrading. It's not degrading. Because the Bible says, if you go up to James chapter 4 verse 6, it says here, God's grace, God gives grace to the humble. So as we place ourselves humbly under God's authority, we are able to receive mercy and grace because of His love toward us. Um, he gives us the authority and strength to resist the devil because we are submitting to Him. Another last of temptations, especially to you guys, young people, you're the next generation. But we have to resist the devil. Uh, you know the battle that you face in life. It's not against it's the people around you, but it's about spiritual wickedness. So if you resist Satan's temptation to our life, Satan. Of yours is Satan into our life. Satan has no authority over us. Amen. So why submitting to God is important? Barika, why? The more we submit to the Lord, the more we resist the devil. Amen. We, if we, sub, we say we submit to the Lord, we listen to Him. We obey Him. We obey what the Word of God says. We follow Him. You know, submission. Submitting to the Lord, we should do it daily also in our life. We do not say, Lord, it's Monday today, I'm not going to submit to you. Maybe on Friday, because it's your plan, I'm going to submit to you. No, we should do it daily in our life. So when we submit ourselves to the Lord, we are acknowledging that He is the Lord of our life. Amen? We are acknowledging His Lordship into our life. So when your friends invite you to maybe we say a, a bar to drink, are you going to go as a Christian? No, isn't it? Because Jesus now is your Lord and your Master, right? Hallelujah. Number two, to whom are you going to submit? Number two, submit to leaders. Of course, talks about your, your pastors and leaders of the church, they comes. Hebrews 13 verse 7 says here, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls. As those who will have to give an account, let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no, adva of no advantage to you. So, my dear young people, always remember that church pastors, church leaders are essential to God's design for the life of the church. Just imagine, kung wala kayong pastor sa church natin, if there's no pastors in our church, if there are no leaders in our church, what will happen to our church? Ano kaya mangyari? So, it says here we should submit to our leaders. 
Why? Because they are keeping watch over our souls. One day, every leader will give an account to the Lord. You know, our pastors, we thank God because they are here teaching us, preaching the word of God. The verses in prayer, they are working hard to present everyone to become mature in Christ. Amen? And as young people, I know, you want to know more about God. Amen, young people? So at the end of this verse, we can see that church leaders are working. They are working for our good. They want to see us grow in Christ's likeness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't want to say, hmm, I don't like that leader. I don't like uh, his face. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him. He's uh, happy. I just remember my son, Jibjo, always saying, You look daddy, I said to my son, Yeah, but I, I don't have my spot. I don't have, I don't have my spot. <laughs> you always see that. <laughs> so, we need to submit to our leaders. It talks about your pastors, your elders in the church, the deacons, the leaders of every different ministry, your leader in young people. So what is our duty as a Christian? We need to pray for our leaders. Amen? Amen. Not more on complaining. Not more on complaining. Not more on gossiping. We need to pray for them. Because we are just human also. They need your prayers. They need your support. Amen? So number three, to whom are we going to submit? Number three, submit to the government. First Peter chapter 2 verse 13 to 14 it says here submit yourself for the Lord's sake to every authority instituted among men whether to the king as the supreme authority or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to command those who do right, do right. so you know as a believer in Christ even though our citizenship you know our citizenship is not here. It's in heaven. Although our citizenship is in heaven, but we are still to accept the authority of the government. Now that we are in Canada, we need to submit to the government of Canada, right? You know Jesus said before his time that you have to pay taxes. And as a citizen of this country also we need to respect our government we need to be more Canadian citizens we need to vote the vote pa kayo are you voting the sir ilang taon na nang buhok dito 18 na ba pa 18 na ba you have to pay taxes you have to pay revenue respect the leaders of this country you have to honor your leaders. Be honors. Obey the rules of this country. Amen. So as a children of God, we are to submit to government authorities. God does not want us Christians to be the number one complainer of the government. Amen. mga complain. God does not want us to be like that. I believe that God has a plan. That's why that you are here, right? God has a plan why you are born here. We need to pray for our government. So why should we submit, submit to the government? You know the Bible says in Romans 13 verse 1, everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. So we need to submit to the authority of the government. But you know there is also an exception to this rule as a believer in Christ. What are those? We should not compromise our belief, right? In our submission to the government. Like for example, there are many laws that approve here. For example, same-sex marriage, 
Are you going to do that also? No? I think in 2005 it was approved here in Canada. We have also the divorce. It was approved in 1968. And many more. And then we have also the legalization of cannabis in 2018. Adult can possess up to 30 grams. You don't say, okay, now that I'm an adult, I'm going to try this. We say no to any laws that contradict the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We must obey God rather than men. Number four, you have to submit to your master. Or, or in this time, you could say to your employer. Sino ba yung mga nagtatrabaho dito ng mga kabataan o yung hindalas? Study? Sino yung mga nagtatrabaho? Sino yung mga nagtatrabaho? Right, right? Mga nag-over. Mga nag-over. Or still, who are those working? Yeah, we have to submit to you. Employer. Or your master. The Bible says in 1 Peter, Chapter 2, verse 18, Slaves, submit yourself to your masters with all respect, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. You know, the Bible says here that it's not supporting about slavery. You know, during the time of Peter here, he's talking about the servants in the houses who receive salary. You know, in those days, all the people, the Romans conquered were both slaves and rule. So, slavery was not based on the race. The slaves or servants during that time did not have only bad jobs, but they have also held high jobs like doctor, teachers, musicians, secretaries, etc. All the work in Rome before was done by slaves. So, we can see here that God wants us to submit to our uh, employers. Some of you have a uh, Good, good bosses or bad 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 ang mga boss natin sometimes in our world they can shout at us but as a Christian are you going to shout back at them? no right? we have to endure it we have to endure it to be a testimony on the other hand, if we do mistake in our job, at no fire out time, you know God, you know God is not this because of what we did. So we have to submit to our master, our employer. You know those who submit to God should also choose to submit to their boss. It is the right thing to do, mga kapatid, mga kabataan. And a good witness to your Christian faith. Yan ang Christian. Amen? So submit to your master. Number five, submission in family. Iskip ko na ito, mga wives. First Peter 3 verse 1. Basta, I know, I just want, just want to read this. I know someday you will be a parent in the word of God says, Wives, in the same way, submit yourself to your husband so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of others. We can see also in the next verse there, Ephesians 5, 25, Husband, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and give himself up for her. So we, see, we can see here that wives, should submit to her husband. Ah, di ba? Dalawa lang sabi ng pastor is to. But in return, sabi dito, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. You want that your wife will submit to you? You love your wife? You learn to love your wife? You learn to be a responsible husband? Amen? Children, and then children, sabi dito sa Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. 
Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise that it will go well with you and that you will enjoy long life on the earth. So we can see here, young people, children of God, you have to obey your parents. Amen? For this is right, sister. For this is right. Meaning to say, when you obey your parents, you are actually obeying God, right? You submit to your parents' authority over your lives and you learn the importance of submitting yourself to the Lord. Hallelujah. Second, we can see here that we have to submit. We have to honor our father. Honor our father and mother. And what will happen? Things will go for us. And we will have a long life on the earth. You know, this is the first commandment. Sabi dito, we a promise. You know what is that promise? If you are going to honor your mother and father, you will have a long life here in earth. You have to submit to your parents, my dear Kapataan. However, or whether you think they are good or bad, you have to submit to them. Right? Amen? Amen, uh, dear people? Amen. Let the, let the parents know what you do. Or, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> what? Let the parents know how, how you spend your money. Do not take decisions, decisions on your own. You have to consult also your parents, right? Let them know. I think this is the best thing that you can say to them. Uh, young people, let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care for them, right? So, so parent also, yung mga kasama kong parent dito, let's love our children. Let's bring him up in the instruction of the Lord. Let's spend time with them, with them if you have time. I know we are always busy here, but I, know, I believe that we have time. If you want, give time to our children. Never show partiality, discipline them with a loving heart. Hallelujah. You have to lead by example. Number six, submit to one another. Ephesians 5.21, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. So, submit to one another is not based on the merits of the other person. Believers are to submit for one another because he is sad. Oh, I'm gonna submit to this brother because he is good. I'm gonna submit to this sister because she is beautiful. It's not like that. It says here, we're going to submit to one another in the fear of Christ. Or in other words, because we fear Christ. So in the body of Christ, there should be mutual. There should be mutual submission. You know, Christ provided himself the greatest example when he lowered himself to become a man and die for us. He died on the cross. In the same way, as a believer in Christ, because we believe in Him, we have also to value others. Amen? We need to value others. We need to say, willing to give yourself, yourself up for others. You know, you're going to put someone else in their needs above ourselves for the benefit of others. So, you know, when you submit to the Lord, you become more willing to obey His command. You know what is command? Submit to one another. Right? You don't say, I am the boss here. I am the leader here. Why I should submit? But the Word of God says, we need to submit to one another for the benefit of the other. Amen? So, as I'm gonna conclude, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, our submission our submission basically comes from God. If we submit to God first, it will automatically come into our hearts. Being submissive is a great quality of a true Christian, right? You know, the Bible says Jesus was submissive to the will of the Father. Jesus was submissive to the Roman government. Jesus was submissive until to the point of death. He suffered and enjoyed the cross for us. 
Now let me ask you a question. Are you a submissive person? Are you a submissive person? Most importantly, are you submitting daily to Jesus Christ? So, the challenge for us is let us be submissive person, right? Like Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So later on, we're going to do a worship night. And it says here, worship is an expression of submission and respect toward God who is holy, loving, and worthy of our devotion. It says also here that worship is submission to God in everything. Amen? So if we say that you, we're going to worship later on, let's give our best to the Lord. Amen? I know you are young people, you have blood. You have lots of energy. So let's try to continue to seek the Lord tonight. Amen? Let's just allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Father God, we thank you for your word that we have just heard. It's true, Lord God, that you are a model for some submission, Lord. Hallelujah. We just pray that this word that we have just heard, we just remember in our life, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us, O oh Lord God, to be as a easy person, O oh Lord God. As a Christian, as a believer in you, O oh Lord God. Help us, O oh Lord God. Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way. Lead us, Lord, according to your God. We just glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.